Hi, welcome to Virtual Echo Pro. Uh, Virtual Echo Pro is the same as the standard Virtual Echo, uh, in addition to a transesophageal module. When you first open Virtual Echo Pro, you'll see the same start screen as the free edition, but when you press the E key, the program will restart in the transesophageal mode. Uh, now you see on the right hand panel that you have uh, the same 3D model uh, except this time the probe goes in through the esophagus. The left hand panel still shows you, shows you the echo view. We'll press the T key to make the torso transparent same as in the free edition and now you can see what's inside. I'll press R to remove the rib cage, and now I can see that the heart uh, has the esophagus and stomach lying behind it and the probe is all the way inside the esophagus. Uh, all the motions of the normal uh, TEE probe are supported. You can move the probe uh, out, sorry that's in, and out using the I and O keys respectively. So I for in and O for out. You can rotate the probe using the Z and X keys. You can use the rotary controls. I'll zoom in a little bit so that you can see exactly what's happening. By the arrow keys for up, down, left, and right. The final motion is the arc, which you can control by the C and V keys. The arc motion is not a physical movement, but it's just a digital one. It means that the arc view rotates without the probe tip actually moving. Like here, the C key, the V key will rotate it this way, and the C key will bring it back to the zero. You can see the arc angle is displayed on the top left corner in degrees. Uh, as the same as the free edition, we again have some stored standard views that you can bring up using the G key. And pressing the N key will animate the movement of the probe until it obtains the desired view. Let's move to a different view. How about the mid esophageal mitral commissure? And we press the N key. The probe will move until it aligns itself with the guide. Let's have another view, like so. Uh, again, the S key we can keep cycling through the guides until they disappear. And the S key will hide the sector so that you're operating in the blind, like in a real case, T, to complete the effect. And uh, that's all there is to it. Enjoy.